Hey everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna play SCP Containment Breach and I'm gonna show you how to increase your FPS and also I'm gonna show you how to fix memory access violation error. Okay. Let's get started. First we are gonna focus on memory access violation. There are two types of this error. First one comes at startup. Most people suffer with that one. Second one comes up when you load your save games or create a new game. Let's try to fix the first one. This is how it happens. In order to fix this, you gonna have to go to the location of the game. Now open options. .ini. And then set play startup videos to false. This solution has a lot of chances to fix it. If it didn't, try this solution too. Open up CMD as admin. You can also search here and open it. Now copy this command and paste it here by pressing right click. Now hit enter and restart your PC. This should fix it. OK. Now focus on the second one. The one that comes up when loading. This is how it happens. When you load your saved game, the error will come up at 30%. When you create a new game, the error come up at 45%. Well, to fix this one, you gonna have to disable the graphic driver. This is how you do it. Now try the game. If this fixed the error, you can notice the FPS is way too low and you can't play it. Don't worry, I have the solution. What you gonna have to do is update your graphic driver.
you can do it manually like this or just do it automatically by the device manager. Now that should fix it. Alright. Now we hop on to our next topic. FPS optimization. Let's try the game with the default settings. Actually this is the maximum settings we can use. See, the FPS is about 10. Let's try reducing graphics from in-game settings. Turn off V-Sync. Now anti-aliasing. Now disable room lights. Reduce particle amount to minimal. And here texture lot bias to minus 0.8. It may look like increasing it. But it's not. Now go to main menu and disable bump mapping. Keep this last option on because it's gonna boost the loading. Now let's try the game. As you can see it still gives us about 10 to 15 FPS. Now close the game. Go to options. .ini. Now change the resolution to the resolution you want. Now turn off anisotropy.
That's not all. Now you gonna have to change the desktop resolution to the game's resolution. If you put 800x600 here, change the desktop resolution to that resolution. I use 480p, so I'm gonna change the desktop resolution to 480p. There we go. Now we can play the game. With lower resolutions, it's hard to read. But there's an option that makes it a bit easier to read. This is that option. Enable it and you can see the different. Now we can play. As you can see now the FPS is about 20 to 30. It's not too bad. This game is kinda of playable with this FPS. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you, in the next video.